Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now this is one of the most super amazing videos you are ever going to see regarding the Honda WRV or the Digipad which is in our cars and that is because I am bringing a very special app in which you can get not 1, not 2, not 3, not 4 but 15 different speedometers for your Digipad and every one of those speedometers belong to one of the supercars and those supercars you might have been guessing by this time which I have been posting on Facebook also they are some of the supercars such as uh, Ferrari, BMW, Porsche Lexus, Koenigsegg, so many Bugatti, so many supercars and all of their speedometers are now available for the Digipad and right now as you are seeing on the screen right now this is the Porsche speedometer running up and running on the Digipad and it looks extremely beautiful and I wanted to show you this at night especially so that you appreciate the beauty of it and so that you appreciate how well it looks and works on the Digipad. So as you can see right now the, it's a very minimalistic looking and a very smart looking Porsche speedometer and I have installed it in my digipad and there are several other options also in this app so i'm going to show you one by one every speedometer which is available for the digipad so let's get started So one of the features which I wanted to show you of this speedometer, of all the speedometers which are available in this app is that it has got a visual warning system and an audible warning system both are available and you can set a certain speed for which the visual warning system turns up. Now I have set the speed as 56 for the visual warning and once the visual warning gets activated the screen will turn red along the side of the speedometer and I am just going to show you that now. So let's just move ahead and speed up a little bit so that you can uh, see the visual warning system coming up on the digipad so as you are seeing the screen is turning red and it's completely red right now so as soon as i reach the speed where it uh, where i have set the visual warning system the screen goes to red and even if i uh, cross the speed where i have set the audible warning it gives up an audible sound now i have set the speed to nearly 70 and now as you can see the audible warning has started because uh, the speed which I have set for the audible warning is 70 and since I crossed the 70 speed it is giving me a speed warning also. Now this is one of the most useful feature of this app other than being it looking the very nice app. So you can have this both visual warning and audible warning adjusted according to your speed and in this case as I told you the visual warning I had set at about 55 kilometers and about 70 kilometers I have set the audible warning. So let's just go ahead I'll just speed up a bit more, bit more now so that you can see the audible warning again you can hear the warning sound again. So as you can see the warning is coming up so whenever you want to set a speed for your car and you make sure you don't want the car to cross that speed limit you can set this warning and it will start giving a beeping sound in the car. Now this is a very useful and a very nifty feature. So now all this time you have been watching the Porsche speedometer so now I will just go ahead and I will show you some of the different speedometers which are available for this app and as you are seeing on the screen right now these are the 15 different sports cars available sports car speedometers available for the digipad and some of them are the ford the audi the ford mustang the lamborghini the chevrolet mercedes and pagani zonda bugatti viper and porsche 911 fiat again mercedes then nissan and lexus all of these speedometers are available for the digipad and you can use each and every one of them i'll just show you uh, right now because i was using the porsche one i'll just show you the lamborghini aventador speedometer right now so if i just click on the lamborghini logo it is going to turn up and show the lamborghini speedometer on the digipad now as just i clicked on the logo you can in a similar way click on any logo of any car you want and you will get the speedometer of that respective car working on the digipad and there are several options also so this you can modify to your unique settings so that no other car can have the speedometer which you have so these are the different options the visual option the audible option and as you can see the screen is already fully red that is a visual system warning and the audio as you are hearing right now that is the audible warning system working out so this will work based on the speed which you set and the speed which you set can be set going into the menu of the uh, app and just go and add, as you are seeing right now the visual speed warning and the sound speed warning are being displayed so there is a bar right there where for in wherein you can set the visual speed warning and the audio speed warning or the sound speed warning as well to depending on whichever speed you want to so this is one of the most useful features of this app so let's just go ahead and go back to the speedometer 
now as you are seeing right now this is the lamborghini speedometer available i'll just go and change ahead into one more speedometer and that is going to be the ferrari speedometer so this guys is the ferrari speedometer and it looks really wonderful really nice this is an actual ferrari speedometer which is available in the ferrari f40 so getting a ferrari speedometer on your car may give you a feeling of riding a ferrari or driving a ferrari and of course there are 15 different other supercar options as well so once you get them you'll get the feel of driving an actual supercar or an actual uh, car with a digital dashboard that resembles one of the supercars so now guys all you all you guys guys saw the speedometers the different speedometers which are available for the digipad and uh, just before i proceed with the video just to remind you this video has taken a lot of effort in making and if you recognize that effort make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like this video and don't go away without commenting below so now so now that you have seen all these speedometers i'm quite sure you are extremely excited and want to try it out in your car as well and you want to download and install this in your digipad as well so let's not make you wait let's just go ahead and i'll show you how you can download and install this in your digipad but make sure once you download and install this you put up some pictures or videos in all the facebook groups or the whatsapp groups so that everyone else who has not seen this yet can also benefit from that and also get it in their car so making on that promise i'll just go ahead and i'll show you how you can download and install all these supercar speedometers in your digipad very easily and very conveniently let's just go ahead Okay so before I take you through the downloading and the installation process of this app I just want to show you a quick glimpse of what this app is exactly like and how you will feel once you start it out so I have placed the app right on my home screen and I just want you to hear what the app is going to make a sound of when you start it up in the first time on the digipad Well I hope you guys heard that that's the first sound which you are going to hear when the app starts up and once that starts up you are going to be greeted with a Ferrari F40 speedometer and this is a speedometer which looks awesome I think and especially at night as you just saw previously it looks really amazing and once driving it shows the accurate speed and pretty much it's uh, almost about 95% accurate so that's really useful and you can use it in your car so let me just go through some of the speedometers which are available for this uh, digipad and uh, in order to change the speedometers what you need to do is this is the setting button on top and uh, right below in the below bottom screen there is a theme button so if you click on the theme button you are going to be shown a list of the car vendors or the supercar speedometers that are available in this app and the list is started by the ferrari 458 italia and then followed by an audi r8 so if i click on the audi r8 button so this is the actual audi r8 speedometer and even this is available so following the audi r8 if you, i'll just show you some of the other speedometers as well now this speedometer is of the Ford Mustang and uh, it looks pretty awesome right so we'll just move on to the next speedometer this is the Lamborghini Aventador speedometer now I've actually seen a Lamborghini speedometer and this is pretty much accurate to what the speedometer the car has and it looks exactly the same so we'll just move ahead with the next one this is the Chevrolet Camaro uh, speedometer and this is also extremely accurate and uh, let's move ahead and let's go to the SLS AMG this is Mercedes SLS AMG and it looks really fabulous i think Uh, let's move on to the Pagani Zonda. So this is the Pagani Zonda speedometer. So then followed by the Bugatti Veyron, the arguably the fastest car in the world, or it was the fastest car previously, the Bugatti Veyron. This is its speedometer, and then it is followed by the Dodge Viper. So this is the Dodge Viper speedometer, and then that is followed by the Porsche 911 Turbo. Now this is my favorite of all these uh, supercar speedometers and it gels well with the digipad dashboard and it looks good on the digipad as well so this is this is Porsche 911 turbo and then that is followed by a Fiat uh, speedometer then comes up the Mercedes W201 now this is uh, a bit more simpler kind of a speedometer then followed by the Nissan GTR then lastly it is followed by a Lexus LFA so this is also a very nice looking a very decent looking speedometer now you can get all these speedometers in your digipad and you can start using them immediately so let's just move ahead and i'll show you how you can download and install the app on your digipad so as you guys just saw the amazing speedometer app which we can use in our digipad so in order to download and install this app on your digipad make sure you have access to a personal computer or a laptop 
and in case you don't have both you can also use a smartphone as well so the next thing which you need to do once you get an access to a personal computer or a laptop is that you go up and connect it to the internet and open up the google chrome browser and then also the one more attachment which you need is a pen drive or a micro sd card so in this case i am going to use this sony 32 gb pen drive and i'm going to use this pen drive in order to install the app into the digipad so once you have access to a laptop a computer and also a pen drive go ahead and open up the google chrome browser and once the google chrome browser has opened up just click on the url search bar and type in the address which i'm going to show you and that address is going to be bit.ly slash t r a v e l t e c h s u p e r s p double e d o so that is travel tech super speedo so this is the address guys that is bit.ly slash travel tech super speedo so once you type in this address just press on the enter button and wait for the google drive page to load up on the screen so once the google drive page opens up there is a download button right here and just make sure it's written here that it's supercar speedometer by travel tech so once that name comes up you can go ahead and click on this download button right in the middle of the screen so once you click on the download button it is going to ask you the place where you want to save the app or save the file onto your system and just select the desktop button and click on the save button right down here so once you click on the save button the download will begin immediately in the left bottom corner of the screen and as you can see right now the download has started so it is currently downloading and as soon as the download completes it is going to show up right there so i think the download has completed right now and if i just click on the minimize button of this uh, google chrome browser and if you can see here right now there is a supercar speedo uh, application right here on the desktop so once the application gets downloaded on the desktop so just go ahead and right click on the app and click on the send to button on the drop down menu once you click on the send to button now make sure you go ahead and click on the make sure you go ahead and insert this pen drive into the laptop usb drive so right now i'm going to insert this right here so once the pen drive gets selected by the laptop just right click on the app and click on the and go down to the send to option right here and once the send to option comes up you will see your pen drive shown up right here so just click on the pen drive and the app will get transferred to the pen drive immediately so once the app gets copied to the pen drive you can remove that pen drive and you can go ahead and install it on the digipad and i'm going to show you that so let's just wait for the app to get copied onto the pen drive right now So the app has completed copying so once the uh, copying gets completed just make sure you head down below right here in the down section and click on the eject media storage button before uh, removing the pen drive directly so once you properly eject the media then only you have to remove the pen drive because sometimes the file gets corrupted and the copying doesn't happen properly and you might end up getting a parsing error so once the eject media has completed just remove the pen drive from your laptop and once the pen drive is removed now i'll just go ahead and i'll show you how you can put this in the usb socket of the digipad and install the app for it and you can start using it immediately so guys you just saw how i just downloaded the app via a laptop and put it on my pen drive right here so right now i'm going to put this pen drive in the usb drive socket of my car and i'm going to use that and install the app on the digipad so let's just go ahead and i'll show you where i'm going to insert it so this is the usb drive slot in my uh, car below the armrest so i'm going to put the pen drive right there so as you can see i'm plugging the pen drive down there so as soon as i plug in the pen drive the digipad is going to detect the pen drive in a few seconds and it will start up the music player so once the music player starts up starts up that shows that the pen drive has been detected and once the pen drive gets detected i can easily access it so as you just saw the music player has come up now right now i'm going to go to the es file manager which is going to help me to access the pen drive so in case you don't have the es file manager just go ahead and check out my channel you will get a video regarding how you can download and install the es file manager on your digipad so in this case let's just go ahead and click on the es file manager so once the es file manager opens up what you need to do is just go ahead and click on the three dotted buttons on the left top corner of the screen so once you've done that go to the home page button on the top of the menu button right there so once the home page is clicked as you can see there is an option called as the u disk right here so the u this u disk is nothing but the pen drive which you just inserted into the digipad so just click on this u disk and this is going to give you the access to the pen drive and as you are seeing right now i just copied the app from the laptop to the pen drive and here is that app 
that is the supercar speedometer so let me just go ahead and click on the app so that we can easily install it so once you click on the app it is going to give you an option to install the app so just go ahead and click on the install button and as i said earlier this method is not going to give you any sort of a parsing error and it you are going to be greeted with the installation window so just go ahead and click on the install button right down here and let's wait for the app to get installed so as you can see the application has installed and the application installed menu has opened up and right now here you can go ahead and click on the open button so as soon as you click on the open button it is going to load up the app and it's going to take a few seconds because it's actually a big app so as you can see right now the app has opened up and it's in the audi r8 speedometer display is being shown on the digipad so this is the so once you have installed and using the app you can go ahead and click on the settings button and here you can see a visual speed warning and a sound speed warning now you can change the visual sound speed warning to any level you you want the units are mentioned in both the units such as the kilometers per hour and miles per hour in both units it is visible so you can set the speed warning to any speed which you like that's the visual speed warning where the Uh, display will start glowing in a red color and once you set the sound speed warning it is going to give you a sound prompt a sound warning just like the one which you heard previously in the night video it is going to give you a sound warning when you reach that particular speed so right now it is set at about 80 km and visually set out about 68 km so you can set this and as soon as the car crosses that speed limit you will hear a sound speed warning or a visual speed warning based on the speed of the car now this is the uh, settings uh, option uh, there are not much settings available you can reset the max speed as well so if you just click on the reset max speed the reset uh, the max speed of the car is going to be reset on the speedometer and it will start with zero back again and if you want to change the theme there is an option to change the theme right here if you just click on the change theme button you, are, you will see the all the supercar models which are available for you to use now if i just go back and uh, as you can see here i'll just open up the app back again the max speed speedometer has been reset to 0 and you can start using it again as a new installation so here is a gps icon it is showing the gps has picked up and there is a green dot below so that shows that the gps has been locked on and it is going to show up the speed of the car on the digipad or on this particular speedometer so i hope you guys like this video this has never been shown on the internet this has never been shown anywhere else and this is exclusively brought to you by travel tech and i hope you like the effort and the work which has gone behind in making this video so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like will like this video because that is going to help me a lot in bringing out many more interesting videos for your digipad so this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day